Ladies and gentlemen, the man to my left is part of a very talented collective known as October's very own, AKA OVO. This is Nico Carino. Welcome to Cavi Presents. Thank you for having me. This that OVO, that season, this that new Toronto. Nico, can you describe for the people at home what your role is or how you contribute to the OVO collective? Well, I came up with Drake when he first started rapping. He was kind of acting at the time. OVO is more of a collective. My role, I was like one of the founding members of October's very own. I did everything from being Drake's assistant to, you know, styling. As far as the OVO brand goes, all five of you, you, Future, Oliver, Forty, and Drake, you guys all contribute to what you guys put out in the public. Right. Music, the fashion, all that, yes? Right, right. Well, he's a creative genius, by the way. I agree. So it's like, we just kind of help him with getting his vision out there. One great thing about your crew is you guys can make anything cool. As one of the curators of, the, of your brand, can you make these following, a few of these positions in sports which aren't traditionally cool, can you try to make them cool? Okay, cool. The referee. That's a tough one, because uh, I hate referees. I think we should put them all in the OVO Jordans. That would be pretty, yeah, they were walking around I'd actually like them again. How could you make the coaches cool? Coaches, uh, maybe better suits. Mm. Maybe we should get stylists for them. Right. Because a lot of the coaches are like, I shouldn't say this, but like the Steve Harvey. Yeah. Suits the one that like, you got on right now. <laughs> <laughs> now when Drake casually was at a Raptors game, just casually was linting his pants, did you think that would become a thing? Because it became a big thing just by the dude just doing this. I mean, if it was you doing it, it would be even more of a bigger thing. <laughs> but, but yeah, it's funny because it's like, if he had crumbs all over his pants, then it would have been a thing still. You yeah, have one. I do, the Raptors one? Yeah. Yeah. Because like the next day or two day games yeah, later, yeah, the Raptors yeah. like, yeah, here you go for the fans. They had could, a bunch of you could, thousands. With, with Drake, you could make anything negative into a positive. The OVO brand is so strong that there are times when Drake might utter a phrase or uh, have a, a catchy uh, chorus, and it actually moves the culture. There's YOLO. You only live once, that's the motto, get YOLO. Started from the bottom, now we're right. here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Zero to 100, and like the, the 100 emoticon is used by millions of people every right, day. Right, 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 right. Uh, there's woes. I was running through the six with my woes. And there's the rebranding of Toronto, the six. Yeah, this is a crazy life. But you and the six raised me right. Which ones do you use the most often? I like the the woes. I was running through the six with my woes. It means like friend or like you're my woe, you know? I am. Yeah, you're my woe. Already? So, yeah, 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 of course. Nice. Is it fair to say that basketball is the favorite sport amongst the OVO crew? Yeah, definitely. OVO Bounce Summer League is a grassroots tournament which features prominent Canadians and some American basketball players. Now, Canada's a hockey country. Mm -hmm. How did you guys as OVO decide that basketball was the sport you're gonna help grow in this country? Well, I kind of grew up playing basketball. Um, I grew up in Scarborough. Basketball was my passion. I just want to give back to the to the basketball community in Toronto. This that OVO, that season, this that new Toronto. You guys have a tight-knit family. I wanted to add to that family. Okay. Hold, please. That's crazy. That's serious. Is this gonna attack me or something? The logo of right. OVO is uh, it's the owl. Is the owl here? We have a snowy owl. Jesus. Have you ever seen a snowy owl? No, not this close. All I see is blood on your glove. That dude eats entire rodents, like mice, rats. Yeah. Uh, I think he eats penguins. How do you feel about the name uh, OVO Cabby for the snowy owl? It, it kind of rings. Kind of rings? Yeah, Chris? He, he's yeah. looking for a name. He's so looking for a name. Yeah. OVO Cabby. I want to be represented by the coolest dude in the, in the whole OVO right. collective. Yeah, yeah, I like it. It rings. I, I get it. Where is OVO Cabby going to live? He could live at uh, the Yellow Mansion. The Yolo Mansion. The Yolo Mansion. He would actually love the Yolo Mansion. <laughs> I, I think I would like the Yolo Mansion.